GOEV Stock Alert. Canoe announces one for 23 reverse stock split. Canoe is executing a reverse split as it seeks capital to fulfill EV orders. Electric Vehicle, EV, Maker Canoe, NASDAQ, GOEV, just announced a 1 for 23 reverse stock split to be executed on March 8. The aim of the reverse split is to prevent a delisting by getting the price of GOEV stock over $1 per share. This news sent shares tumbling overnight. Canoe stock opened at about $0.08 cents per share with a market capitalization below $100 million. GOEV stock is now down more than 60% year-to-date, YTD, and more than 85% for the past 12 months. Can Canoe? As TipRanks reports, Canoe is either going through a near-death experience or is a deep discount bargain. While the company is testing an electric pickup truck called the American Bulldog, its future seems to lie with more prosaic delivery vans. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives remains bullish on GOEV stock. Ives has an outperform rating on shares, believing Canoe can be a disruptive player when it comes to the delivery van space. Back in January, Ives noted that Canoe had $750 million in order commitments, including a large order from Walmart, NYSE, WMT, which has been expanding its delivery services. Canoe came public in December 2020 through a special purpose acquisition company, Spock, closing at around $19 per share on its first day of trading. But in its most recent 10Q report, management admitted to substantial doubt about its ability to continue as a going concern, unless it can obtain additional capital. The company reported just $8.2 million in cash and lost $111 million, or 18 cents per share, over the three months ended September 30, 2023. Since then, Canoe has received funding from the state of Oklahoma for which it has a delivery van contract. According to reports, the company has also recently received an order for six vans from the U.S. Postal Service. What happens next? Canoe will need cash to complete the orders it has on hand and prove its business model. It has been getting buy on convertible debt, notes that can convert to stock. It had $37 million of current convertible notes outstanding in its November report and another $45 million of non-current convertibles. On penny stocks and low-volume stocks, with only the rarest exceptions, Investor Place does not publish commentary about companies that have a market cap of less than $100 million or trade less than 100,000 shares each day. That's because these penny stocks are frequently the playground for scam artists and market manipulators. If we ever do publish commentary on a low volume stock that may be affected by our commentary, we demand that Investor Place.com's writers disclose this fact and warn readers of the risks.